I'm Jeff Lewis. I'm the horticultural specialist with UNC Coastal Studies Institute. My responsibilities here are to um, beautify the grounds using native plants only and also to participate in the educational programs we have here. Sustainable gardening is growing plants in a self-sustaining way. This is best accomplished by using native plants and it means growing plants that require little maintenance, little care after they're established, plants that require little supplementary watering. They um, also require no chemical pesticides or fertilizers. And CSI uses sustainable landscaping, one, to set an example of how we all should be uh, maintaining our gardens, growing our gardens, and also because it saves us money, it's good for the environment. Here on the CSI campus, we have a wide variety of native plants, native trees, shrubs, perennials, and grasses. They're plants that are suitable for this type habitat. They're part of the ecosystem. They work well with the native flora and fauna. The type of plants that we have here at CSI include native trees like pines and cedars and oak trees, native shrubs like junipers and beautyberry and wax myrtles, which provide good cover for wildlife, and perennials and annuals and grasses that are good in this hot, sunny environment. Residents also should use sustainable gardening in their own yards because it will save them money, it will help attract wildlife, and it will put a little bit back into nature that human beings are taking away. In the winter, one good thing about growing native plants is there's not much to do with them. There's no maintenance, no watering, no fertilizing, and actually you do not even want to deadhead or cut back your plants until late, late winter just before spring. Well, here on the CSI campus, we have a great variety of birds in the winter. In the dry, sunny habitats that are, that are kind of weedy, we have a good variety of sparrows and meadowlarks and bluebirds. In the wooded sections of the campus, we have the typical backyard birds like blue jays and cardinals and wrens and woodpeckers. In our wetlands, we have clapper rails, Virginia rails, marsh wrens, red-winged blackbirds. In our canals and ditches, you may find buffleheads, various grebes, cormorants, and in the snags around our campus, you may spot raptors like American kestrel or even a bald eagle. The kind of plants that people can plant in their yard to attract birds would be native trees, including conifers like pine trees and junipers, um, evergreens like American hollies, deciduous trees like oaks. There's a big, great variety of um, shrubs that are good, American beauty berries, Yopon holly, wax myrtles, shrubs that provide cover and food for birds and other wildlife. And for homeowners who would like more information on sustainable landscaping, please visit the UNC Coastal Studies Institute website.